Hello my friends, this is P. Suarez coming at you again with something different. Something I have never done before. And this is gonna be an unboxing of my new Kersha leak. So excited, so excited! Never done anything like this. I haven't opened it yet. It takes a lot of uh, self-control to keep it closed when I got it and wait till I get all the way here to my house and I was so anxious and I'm gonna do it and I want you guys to be a part of it so this is the box it came with it's a regular cardboard box this is the model that I got 1660 leak and here it goes Woo! so excited Ooh, there's nothing like unboxing something that you've been waiting for. Look at that. Now there's a knife. It also comes with important information about your new crochet knife. Make sure you how to use the pocket clip, the clean oil it, adjusting screws, sharpening, lifetime warranty. Now that's really important. Warning, knives are extremely sharp tools and should only be used or handled with the utmost care and caution. Good tips. Identifying the parts of your knife. Opening a Kersha manual folder. With a thumb step, closing a Kersha folder, frame lock, sub frame lock. I believe my leak is a frame lock. Kersha fixed blade knives. Warning. Oh, this is a nice, nice booklet. Okay, now for the main thing here, my new Kersha leak, touching it for the first time, whoa ho ho man, that moisture protectant, look at that man, this is sleek, I gotta tell you man, this is really, really nice, good size, slim, whew, look at that. I'm so excited guys, I love knives, you, most of you know how I feel about knives, man I'm excited, I love knives. Now let's try to open this thing up, oh it's got the lock, unlock it, we're gonna use the flipper, whoops, I think, gotta do it faster. Look at that, man. So cool. Keen onion design. Isn't this a beauty, guys? Isn't this a beauty? This is the lock. Okay, now let's open it once again. This is the most Exciting part about this knife is the assisted opening. <laughs> yeah. My new Kershaw leak. Now let's go over some of the important specs. If I want to open it with my left hand, this gets in the way. So I'm going to switch the pocket clip to over here. That's one of the advantages of this model here. Look how that opens. Look how this thing opens. Isn't that cool? <laughs> For the specs, speed safe assisted opening right here. Flipper or with a thumb stud. You've seen me do it. It's got the frame lock. Right here, a portion of the handle moves behind the blade to lock into position during use. This is a safety feature of the knife. And it's really solid. Reversible pocket clip. Pre-drilled holes in the handle enable the user to change either the tip position or the side on which the knife carries. This is made in the USA. For those of you who that is a big deal, I mean, it is a big deal. It's made in the US. I'm, I'm Mexican. I live in Mexico. I love stuff that's made in the US. I like you guys. The steel is a Sandvik 14C28N. 
bead blasted finish. The handle is 410 stainless steel. The blade length, right here, the blade length is 3 inches or 7.6 centimeters. The closed length is 4 inches or 10.3 centimeters. Overall length, 7 inches, which is 17.9 centimeters. The weight is 3 ounces or 85 grams. I'm gonna go ahead and do a tabletop review, you know, my first impressions on this knife. The craftsmanship is impeccable. It's so perfect. Everything is really tight. Now the blade, there's also no play here. It's really tight but really smooth as you can see you can open it easily but it doesn't move one bit I like this type of point I don't have I haven't had a knife a pocket knife with this type of tip and that's interesting for me that's part of the reason why I got this I want to see how useful this super sharp tip is the belt clip seems really tough you know the opening and the closing, as you can see, is so freaking smooth. It is really slim. You know, compared to my to the other knife I've been carrying as an EDC. Hold on, the Ontario Rat one. But this is a way beefier knife. It's a uh, larger, thicker, heavier. Don't get me wrong, I'm totally in love with this knife as well. I made a review on it if you want to check it out. I've been carrying this as an EDC for about a year and a half or more than a year and a half. There's nothing bad I have to say about this knife. But now I'm going to try this one out. It's going to be a big change, you know. From a big pocket knife to a middle slim pocket knife. As I was saying, it's got the, the lock here. It won't open accidentally. 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 It's just a piece of plastic that blocks the tip from coming out. See? That's all that is. This is a perfect knife for an EDC. It's really slim. I'm sure I won't feel it when I have it in my pocket. It's a pocket knife. It's not a survival knife. Now that's for sure. This is a great pocket knife for EDC, for urban environments, or maybe for even camping and hiking, it's also really good. This knife was given the Best Buy Award by the Outdoor Gear Lab in 2016. It's a great buy for the money. I think this one cost me less than $40. I'll leave a link down below if you're interested. And go check it out. My first impressions, it's a really good knife. Excellent quality and craftsmanship. The blade steel is really good. It's been around for a while now. It's got really good reviews. If you want to check it out, go up, click on the link below. So here's a lick writing in my pocket. I can barely feel it's there. It's really slim. So this is how it looks, the pocket clip showing. This is the way the pocket clip came from the factory, which is tipped down. Really, really slim. I can barely feel it's there. If I put my hand in my pocket, you know, it's not that intrusive. I'm a left-handed, so I like to keep mine on my left front pocket. The Crusher Leak just may be the ideal EDC with its 3-inch blade. The Leak is a good size knife, but not too big. The slim design makes it easy to carry, and its razor-sharp blade of high-performance sand Vic 14C28 means it can take care of a full range of cutting tasks. Sorry, The drop point blade. The blade uh, is a modified drop point, so it's a good slicing knife, while the slim tip gives it piercing capability and the ability to do detailed work. For a partially serrated blade, choose the 1660ST leak. I don't care about that. I don't like serrated blades. That's just my opinion. I'd rather have a straight blade, always. And... Uh, like other onion knives, the leak features the speed safe ambidextrous assisted opening system.
whether you're left-handed or right-handed, just pull back on the blade protrusion or push outward on the thumb stud and the Lix blade is ready to work. Beautiful, beautiful knife. I'm excited! Yeah! Ah! <laughs> I hope you like my unboxing. Looking forward to using this every day. And I'm sure I'm gonna be back with a performance review once I use this knife enough. Subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. This is P. Suarez. Please comment. Kershaw Leak. Speed Safe USA. Thanks for watching, guys.